What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina and we are on part two of our series of partial pressure blending. In the first part we showed you actually how to calculate how much partial pressure of a given gas was in a cylinder. We did it both in imperial and metric and that's exactly what we're going to do today again. Any of the calculations that we do will be done both in imperial and metric for you as well. And what we're going to be focusing on today is the partial pressure formula. This is the formula that um, fill operators use to determine if they're partial pressure blending a gas, whether it's nitrox or even trimix, how much individual uh, gases we need to put in a cylinder to mix it up. Now we're going to start with the imperial system. So we're going to be dealing with PSI, but then I'm going to show you the exact same formula using the metric system using bar as well. Now to do this, there's two things that you need to know. There's two known variables. One, you need to know what your desired ending pressure is. Well, my desired ending pressure is 3000. So in this particular formula here, I'm going to write that down. Now I like to use aluminum 80s and I understand that they're filled to 3000 PSI. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the blanks of any of my known variables as well. I also need to know desired cylinder blend. Well, we're gonna use just a basic nitrox blend. And let's say that basic nitrox blend is 32%. Now remember, when we're doing the math, we can't really use the percentage uh, sign. We've gotta convert it over to a decimal. So when I say percentage, I'm also meaning decimal whatever. So if I'm gonna use 32%, I'm gonna take my desired uh, partial pressure of O2, which would be 32%. And all I'm gonna do is just simply fill in the formula as well. So it says my desired minus what standard breathing gas is, which is 21%, and I'm gonna minus it out. And I like to put my brackets here just so it makes the math a little bit easier for me as well. And then of course, I still need to divide that by the partial pressure of nitrogen in standard breathing gas as well. So we're gonna take this formula here and we're just gonna simply work it on down. Now you can actually do this with a calculator uh, if you wanna follow along with me. Basically all I'm gonna do is take 0.32, I'm gonna minus 0.21 from it. It's gonna come up to 0.11, okay, so 0.11. But I've got to finish this series out right here. So I'm gonna divide that by 0.79 put that in a parentheses here and then just to make the math easier for me I like to carry down the equation as well so I've went from this formula down to this smaller formula right so now I'm going to continue what's in the parentheses as well I'm going to take 0.11 and I'm going to simply divide that out by 0.79 that's going to come up to 0.139. Now, we do like to round up, so that 0.139 is actually going to round up to 0.14. So I'm going to write 0.14. All right, very easy to do. And then, of course, I'm going to times that by 3,000. So it's very, very easy to do here as well. So take 0.14 times 3,000. That's going to give me 420 PSI. And what that actually tells me is, is that if I want, let's say I've got an empty cylinder and I want to put 32% in. Now, if I'm partial pressure blending, this is, of course, the procedure of putting pure oxygen into the cylinder, then putting air and letting it mix to get my desired blend. This tells me for a 32% blend filled to 3000 PSI, I need to put 420 PSI in, of oxygen in the cylinder first before I hook it to the compressor and mix air into it to get my desired blend of 32%. So it's a very simple process. If you follow the formula all the way down and use a calculator, of course, it becomes very simple for us. And this is actually the formula that we use when we partial pressure blend nitrox. You can do the exact same thing with tri-mix. There's a couple of little extra steps in there, but essentially this is how easy it is. Now I did promise you that I'm going to do it in the metric system as well. So let me get this erased up. And we're gonna do the exact same formula, but we're gonna do it in the metric system. And once again, depending on what your pressure or what your bar is and what blend, you may change those variables. I'm just gonna use a very common one here. We're gonna start with, uh, we're gonna write down all the same information. I know that I, I want a 32% blend. So 0.32, we're gonna minus 0.21 from it. I'm gonna go ahead and draw out my formula because it does make the math a lot easier for me. And we're going to change our desired ending pressure over to bar. So we're going to say 200 bar, okay? 
Now, I know a lot of you guys in the past asked, why do I use 200 bar instead of 204, 205, or 206, or what it is? Um, in short, it's easier for me to do it this way because of the gauges that I use. It actually has a marker for 200 bar, and that's usually where we fill it to. We let the cylinder cool, and then we refill it on top of that. So trying to get that desired blend, I just use the marks that are on my gauges as well. It makes it a whole lot easier for me. But you can actually change this to whatever your desired ending pressure would be. We're just going to use 200 bar just for the uh, video sake here. But I'm just going to simply work it down. Now, a lot of these numbers are going to be the same until we get to the bottom. So I know this is going to be 0.11. All right, and then we're going to divide it by 0.79. We're going to get that there, and then we're going to times it by 200. We understand all that. And then it's going to work down just like it did in the Imperial system. This is going to be 0.14 uh, times 200 bar. And then, of course, this, my ending pressure here, or my ending bar, if you will, is actually going to come out to 28 bar of O2. So that tells me that in the metric system, that if I want a cylinder, filled to 200 bar with 32% and I'm partial pressure blending. Once again, I'm putting the oxygen in first and then mixing it with air. I need to fill that cylinder up to 28 bar of pure 100% oxygen and then mix the rest with standard breathing gas or air. And that mixture, that partial pressure uh, process is going to give me that desired blend of 32%. So guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you can see it's not very difficult to understand partial pressure blending. All we're doing is just mixing up different ingredients. We just need to understand how many ingredients or how much of a particular ingredient that we need to put in there to get our desired mixture or whatever it is. And guys, I hope you liked this video. If you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer your questions the best I can. Guys, I, I do hope that you stay tuned. We're going to show you next or in our next series uh, how you can actually blend nitrox from nitrox. This is, let's say that you've got a cylinder that's half full, you've got a particular blend in it, and you need to either raise or lower that blend while you're filling that cylinder up as well. So that'll be in our next video, so please stay tuned for that. But guys, if you like this video, simply smash that like button and definitely share it for me as well. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.